I'm gonna try and make one of those out of this for that thing. Follow along and see if I'll succeed and if maybe you should consider making one for yourself. The length of the paper is longer than this. I think we need a cutting montage because this is taking too long. Ah, come off. Ah, paper cut. Ah, hate paper cuts. Ah, okay. Do I need this? Probably not. Am I gonna keep it? Hell yeah. Honestly, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. Uh, I've been having this idea for like half a year now. I should probably have done a small scale test, but I don't know. Let's just cut it up, see if it works. So I need this grid to be able to start working on lighting the background for the talking head shots. I also had to do some actual work to make some money. Yeah, it's 80 by 80. So one, two, three, four. I don't have access to a grid right now, so I can't check how big each square is. But my thinking is that if the height or the depth, if the depth is six centimeters, that means that the opening should also be six by six. But then at a four to five degree angle, yeah, I just have to try it. We need to cut another sheet and then we'll have enough. And we're done. Everything is cut up. If I need a couple of extra, I got enough left here. Good enough. Let's get on to assembling something. The next thing I have to do is cutting slots into all of these. Which means I have to assemble them into one long strip save some time and then once we get all of them in one big strip we're gonna make some cuts or I could just call it art and be done with it but uh, no found the scissors we do need to cut every six centimeters. And we also need one centimeter to... Can I even do this? Of course it's too thick. It's day two. I'm gonna try and finish this. I might even have time to test it on the key light itself. coming along quite nicely. Did I ever tell you about that time we built a creeper in cardboard, put it on a longboard, set it on fire, and rolled it down the street outside for the Christmas party? No? Okay. Remind me to do that in a different video. But now, back to finishing this stuff up. Okay, now. I think this can work. And now I'm gonna see if it's big enough to fit the whole thingy. And then I need to find a temporary way of attaching it to the light box. Then I'm gonna test it. And if it works, then I'm gonna figure out stage two. Yep, it's the right size. I might have to tape it down around the edges just to keep some of it in place. Then we'll see if we can attach it to this. So 
So just to remind everyone what we're trying to do here. I made the key light with the soft box, but that light is spilling onto the background. Now I wanna light the background like every good YouTuber does. I want colors in the background. Because there's spillage on the background from this light, I made the grid. Now the grid should direct the light on me and not on the background. This is the before. This is what it looks like with just the diffuser. Yeah, one more thing, cause I just checked the camera. This light is a completely different color than the lights I have in the ceiling which meant the white balance was all off. This is the proper before. This is without the grid, just a soft box on the key light. Turns out this is gonna be harder than I thought. And this is also why we need a stage two with a proper system for taking this on and off without too much hassle. And that's also why there's gonna be a stage three where the diffuser is gonna be mounted to something as well so I can add or remove the diffuser also put on several diffusers as well as the grid. It's gonna be a system of sorts. This is so barely holding it together. and my ceiling has actually fallen down over there. I'm gonna have to fix the ceiling at some other point. Once I turn off the ceiling lights, turn on that, we should be golden. Let's test it. Oh. <laughs> okay then. This setup is so janky, it's not even funny. Let's take a look back five minutes ago. You see all that spillage? You see all that light on the background? The light is in the exact same position. I just added the grid and look at it now. And just by moving everything slightly more forward, angling the light slightly different, I can shut down the light behind there almost completely. It's such a big difference and it's working. So this was fun. I need to figure out how to connect this thing be able to put this on and take it off pretty easily. Uh, I need to figure out a way to do this in a way that I can both switch out and control the amount of light by adding or subtracting diffusers. So what I'm thinking is if I make sort of a round frame, which I glue the grid to, and then make the same round type cardboard frame on the key light itself, on the softbox. Like having one circular mount on the softbox itself, and then a circular mount on the grid and on the diffuser, and then they can just be put in place and clamped down, and I can take it on and off as I need to. I'm very happy with this. This is great. Worth all the work.